Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. My name is Jennifer, and I'm happy to do your love reading for August 16th through August 31st, 2019. Don't want to blabber too much, so I want to go ahead and get right into it. I know everybody loves a short intro, right? Am I right? Or am I right? Okay, so Scorpio... <clears throat> We are going to pull your love energies for August 16th through August 31st, 2019 in love. So, Spirit, please show me the love energies for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love for August 16th through August 31st, 2019, please. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, please keep in mind that this will not resonate with every Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus out there. It's impossible. I don't like to say impossible. I like to believe most things are possible, but I just, it's not going to resonate with every Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus out there. But it will resonate with a good amount of you, at least some uh, part of it. I've noticed that even if the whole reading doesn't resonate, sometimes, or a lot of times, at least a little bit will. So take what resonates with you and throw the rest out. Leave it for somebody else. And don't get hung up on the gender associations of the cards and the astrological associations of the cards. I will try to mention them. But and if the person that you're dealing with sign or your sign comes up, that's great. But if it doesn't, that doesn't mean that it's not the person that you're thinking about. Okay, so... Let's see, Spirit, what's going on for Scorpio and their love interest, August 16th through August 31st, 2019. Okay. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Let's do it. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, August 16th through August 31st. In love, please, Spirit. Here we go. All right, Scorpio, how your love interest sees you during this time period. I saw him in the pre-shuffle too, or while I was shuffling the emperor. Hello, daddy. They see you as daddy. Hopefully he turns up right. He's not very nice in the reverse at all. <laughs> okay, how they feel about you. The six of wands currently in the reverse. If you haven't watched me before, I will go over these cards with my pendulum to determine whether they should be upright or reversed, okay? Significant past events that has led up to the current energy between you, the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer or an Aries, or some would even say the Emperor could be Scorpio because he's Mars energy. Um, and the wands here is fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Current energy between you and this person... Scorpio is the king of cups. Scorpio. The current energy is scorpionic. All right. And the action that your love interest is most likely to take towards you during this time period is the queen of wands. Hello, lover. She is beautiful, sexy. She's going to be taking action because she doesn't, uh, she doesn't play around. She's going to get it done. All right. Whatever it is. And it could be male or female. Okay, your advice, Scorpio, in dealing with this person and uh, this situation with them during this time period is the fool. More Aries energy. And uh, then and we're going to see if he should be uh, upright or reversed. Your outcome for this time period. Nice. The Ace of Pentacles. A little gift from the universe. Sounds nice. A stable offer. Overall energy temperance so you could be reconciling with someone let's see what position these cards should be in okay so spirit upright or reversed temperance please the emperor the six of wands the moon the king of cups the Queen of Wands, the Fool, the Ace of Pentacles. So all the cards should be upright, correct? Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, that's why I do this. <laughs> because they just, from the beginning, found that they just don't really come out 
right all the time. So intuitively I could feel the card should be the other direction and it was coming out in the opposite. So I started using my pendulum and found that that is correct. So that's why I do it. All right, so Scorpio, yeah, you could be reconciling. And guess what's underneath this temperance? The Ace of Cups, okay? So you could be reconciling with someone that you really care about, that you have love for, that you walked away from. That's underneath there too, okay? Maybe you walked away or they walked away. All right, but this person may be an Aries or Scorpio, like I said. He is probably a pretty mature character could be a woman uh but i mean it is a very masculine energy like as far as masculine energy goes this is the most masculine energy in the deck that i can think of okay so whether it is male or female this person is definitely standing in their power and exuding a very masculine type of energy right now okay so they've stepped into that masculine energy and uh they your love interest is how they see you they see you as a very masculine character whether you're male or female as someone who's very powerful and strong and you know he's not a bad guy at all he's not necessarily the most emotional person but he is definitely action oriented he is in charge and uh He's can be looked at as a father type figure. So it doesn't mean this person is like a father, but that's why I say, hello, daddy. It's daddy in a good way, right? So uh, yeah, that's how they see you. That's definitely a good way to be seen if you are a masculine, uh, if you are actually a male. That's a great way to be seen. <laughs> uh, as long as you're not too rigid and stuff like that. But you know, he's upright, so I'm not really worried about that. How they feel about you, though, Scorpio, is, yeah, I would say, this is not a cup, but it is it is known as one of the marriage cards. It's They want to be victorious with you. They want your attention. They definitely want your attention, and they notice you. They definitely, they think you're pretty special. They, they've, got, they've set you apart. This guy is receiving all the accolades. He is noticed i mean he's looked up to he is admired they very much admire you scorpio okay significant events in the past that led up to the current energy is the moon this is card of pisces also because of that moon i you know feel it's very cancerian as well uh because you know the moon rules cancer uh so something, okay, first things first, something could have happened at like a new moon or a full moon. Something could have happened at, with the eclipses. There could have been some, some intense energies during those times. But aside from that, I feel like there was some fear and confusion surrounding something with the, in this connection. One or both of you was very afraid and confused and uh, it was causing some disharmony or dysfunction in the relationship i don't know it doesn't necessarily mean you're on a break however we do have temperance in the overall energy so that could be reconciliation or you could still be with this person and you're just going to recalibrate everything rebalance okay uh forgive maybe you just got had a fight you know i mean this could be for people that are already married and it could be for you know people that are just dating it, it you have to take it how it resonates with you okay so the current energy between you and this person, though, is that King of Cups. Okay, so there's definitely love between you. This doesn't have to actually be a person, but it is. it could just be the energy of love. And this love is strong, very strong, but it's not necessarily out in the open. So perhaps, because the moon also has to do with hidden things, so perhaps, and this guy is well known for hiding his feelings. I mean, he... It's not that he's so afraid and wants to hide. It's just that he doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve. So he's not just going to make it common knowledge how he feels about you. It's it, I And mean, if he tells you that he loves you, he means it. Okay? So he is love. Okay? And perhaps this was hidden and that these feelings were not being brought to light. And right now you know, they're, they're kind of just like hanging around there because he's, like I said, he usually does keep it to his chest. So I feel like that's the current energy in the past. There was some disillusion, some fear, some confusion, some hidden things. And right now I don't know that the feelings are necessarily out in the open, but the love is there, Scorpio. It is definitely there. Okay. And then your love interest's most likely action towards you or you them is this Queen of Wands. Like I said, she is another sexy beast like that Empress. She is 
Ugh, the queen of wands. I mean, all the queens, they're beautiful, sexy, but she is like, when she walks into a room, everyone's head turns. She is, she gets noticed. She's ambitious. She takes charge and, and gets stuff done also. So I would feel that if they're going to take, this is the action they're most likely to take towards you. I would feel that they're going to definitely take action. We're going to see what action that will be with the clarifying cards. Uh, the wands are very sexual energy. So she may be coming. She doesn't particularly have a wand herself, but she may be coming to grab the wand. I don't know. <laughs> She does have a wand here, but I mean, if she's the, in the feminine energy, this could be male or female. So she's coming and bringing the wand, I think. So, And then your advice in dealing with this person, take a leap. Scorpio, take a leap. This is this is more Aries energy, and uh, this is taking a leap into the unknown. There, there are hidden things. There are things that you're just not going to know when you're entering into, if it's a new relationship or if it's an uh, established relationship, you... You know, we can get a little clue of what's going on, the energies that are surrounding us now and a little inkling of what might happen in the future. But you really don't know. It really is every day like a cliff that you're about to walk off of and you have to decide whether you're brave enough to take that step or not. OK, that's like every day for everyone. I mean, it doesn't feel like that or seem like that, but it is every day. You don't know, you know. Uh, so, you know, taking a leap of faith. That's what faith is, is believing that. You know, this might not work out, but it might. And I feel inclined to find out, to take a leap because I, I, you know what? They say the only thing, the only regrets we have in life are the risks that we didn't take, the chances that we didn't take. And I think that that's, I don't know that it's, those are the only things that we regret. I'm sure that we regret our actions. I know there's plenty of actions that I regret, but you know, the things that we really look back on in life and you know, those what ifs, you know, what if I had just taken that leap of faith, you know, years down the road, you know, there's always that person you're still thinking about, but what if I would have just done this instead? So you're being advised. So you don't have to do that and look back in the future and say, what if take the leap? All right. Take the leap. And, uh, your outcome is this Ace of Pentacles. Look, you're getting a gift from the universe. You could be receiving a solid, stable offer from this person. You could just be receiving an invitation for dinner. I mean, it doesn't have to be huge. But you are giving, be, being, excuse me, if I could talk, being given an opportunity, okay, not only from this person, but from the universe. This is the hand of the divine handing you a golden coin, like a golden ticket. It's an opportunity, okay? So that's great. Who doesn't love a good opportunity? And I mean, it's a very positive opportunity. Okay, so let's get some more cards on here, Scorpio, and see what else we have here. What more information we can get. Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, people, please. For Love Energies, for August 16th through August 31st, 2019. Can't. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, people, please. Clarify these cards in order for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. August 16th through August 31st, 2019, please. What's going on for Scorpio? Okay, well, this guy wanted to flip. This is the Seven of Swords. That is some, um, hang on a second, some deceptive energy. But it doesn't have to mean an outright lie or cheating situation. It could be someone hiding their feelings. You don't say, Scorpio. Okay, you don't say. All right, so let's see. Scorpio, clarifying that emperor as how your love interest sees you is the three of wands, okay? You could be at a distance from this person or they could be waiting. They could see you as keeping them waiting, okay? Or they could just see you as someone they miss and are longing to be there waiting for something, you know, waiting for their ships to come in. Okay, uh, with you or you're waiting. So they see you as the emperor, very power, having the power. I feel like that just came to me. They see you as having the power, like the balls in your court. Again, uh, this came out for another reading. 
different cards, but it was like the same position. That the ball's in your court. You have the power here, and they're just waiting, Scorpio. They're waiting. Or they see you as waiting, okay? Waiting to make a move. And then how they feel about you on top of that six of wands, the two of wands. Yeah, uh, they miss you. They're longing to be with you. They're wanting progress with you, especially with that six of wands. And now this two of wands, they want to be victorious and start planning a future with you. They, they want to move forward and have progress with you. Okay, they choose you. Okay, with that six of wands, with that two of wands and then in the past energy with that moon with the confusion whoa king of cups in reverse okay so we had the past I, I, we're gonna find out he might not he might not be supposed to be in the reverse we'll find out but yeah here he is the king of cups in your past energy and he's also in the present okay with that moon so somebody was definitely hiding their feelings okay and then your current energy scorpio the five of cups with that king of cups okay and then the action you're most likely your love interest is most likely to take towards you or you them huh. there's the fool again aries energy okay where did i see the fool oh oh it's right here and your advice so your advice is the fool and the action that your love interest is most likely to take towards you or you them is the fool this queen of wands this is clarifying this queen of wands the queen of wands this is two cards of aries by the way because the queen of wands is like two-thirds aries i think and one-third pisces because all the queens are water but the queen of wands is specifically fire and i believe she is like two-thirds aries one-third pisces and so aries aries and so this queen i told you she was going to do something she doesn't just sit around she's going to take she's going to do something she's going to take a leap of faith he she or he okay and then your advice on top of the fool strength uh, i feel like <laughs> immediately coming to me i said this to somebody else another sign grow a pair okay and take the leap grow a pair and take the leap okay get the courage that's what i mean by grow a pair to take that leap okay and then your outcome scorpio the moon clarifying that ace of pentacles interesting overall energy ouch the ten of swords let's see what's going on here remember the other overall energy is temperance so this ten of swords means that you've completed a cycle of some sort with this person a painful cycle and now it is time to reconcile rebalance okay one sec. Okay, spirit. Upright or reverse the Ten of Swords, please. Thank goodness that's supposed to be in the reverse. The Three of Wands, please. The Two of Wands. The King of Cups. The Five of Cups. The Fool. Strength. And the Moon. Yes. Okay. I get it. Thankfully, this is in the reverse, which means that, yes, you've completed a painful cycle, a long painful cycle with this person. However, it is not over. Okay. Doesn't mean the pain is not over. It means that it, the relationship is not over. Okay. Somebody wants to reverse those 10 swords, take them out of the back of the person and try to recalibrate with this temperance card. Okay. Because how they see you again, maybe making them wait. You might be making them wait. You've got all the power and you might be making them wait. Um, or you might be living at a distance from each other. Like I said, they see you as daddy, and, but you live a little bit far. Um, or they, they're longing to be with you. They're waiting, waiting for you to take action. Okay. They are waiting for you to take action. 
And then how they feel about you. Yeah, like I said, I, I said they want to be victorious. They definitely want your attention. They they see you. They notice you. They think you are something special. And they want to progress with you. They want to move forward. They want to start planning some kind of future. Whatever stage you are in your relationship. Maybe they just want to plan a date. Uh, or maybe they want to plan the rest of y'all's lives. I don't know. But they want to plan something with you. Because they see that you are special, Scorpio. Okay, Special, but maybe emotionally unavailable, okay? Because this is the past energy, all right? So things were hidden for sure. Somebody was scared, confused. This is the energy of emotional unavailability, the King of Cups in reverse. So we have in the current energy, the King of Cups upright. So there has definitely been progress in this area, okay? But in the past, somebody was definitely emotionally unavailable and it left somebody feeling very confused, okay? And then, so yeah, the current energy, that person, whoever it is that was unavailable is now becoming available. Even though he's not necessarily revealing all his feelings, he's at least opening up to the idea of revealing those feelings. He definitely is understand, starting to understand his feelings and recognize them and starting you know to bring them to the surface perhaps at the un when they he was when this person was unavailable they were stuffing them down and not really understanding or even recognizing them trying to escape them maybe i think was it the seven of swords that popped out while i was uh while i was shuffling i think i said the seven of swords came out when i was shuffling and that is definitely a card of trying to run from one's feelings for sure it can be deception uh or infidelity or anything like that but I see it come out most often because not everybody is cheating, okay? Uh, I see it coming out most often as people trying to escape their feelings, trying to run away from them. So especially with this King of Cups in reverse here, somebody was definitely trying to do that. And now they're not running from them anymore and they want to reverse the disappointment that was caused by that, okay? So, you know, when they were unavailable, they were causing this type of energy between you, especially for you. And like I said, anything could be vice versa. So if I say you, it could be them. If I say them, it could be you. But, you know, somebody was very, very sad and disappointed and regretful and focusing on all that was lost and not noticing that there were still two cups behind them. I feel like this person is finally seeing those two cups and realizing what was lost and but what could still be if they open up okay and then your advice scorpio is yeah like i said take that leap okay you know take action to take that leap i'm sorry this is not your advice this is the action your love interest is most likely to take towards you forgive me again they're going to take a leap of faith towards you definitely taking action Possibly, you know, it, well, it is definitely passionately dr driven. It's There's a lot of passion. This person has passion and they're going to act on it and they're going to come forward and take a leap of faith. And again, it could be you. They, This is what they're most likely to do. So this is what they're thinking about doing, okay? You know, spirit pulls the energy around you and tells you, you know, what energies are around you. So things you know, show up in the spirit realm first. So this is what's going on around you. But, you know, this person still has to actually act on this. So this is what they're thinking about doing and what they're most likely going to do or you. But, you know, everybody has free will. So these energies are absolutely subject to free will fluctuation. This person might chicken out at the last minute, although it's the queen of wands. So I doubt it. But, you know, I mean, maybe they feel, you know, with the planetary transits, you could feel totally courageous and ready to, to go one day. And then a transit could happen and all that, you know, fiery bravery that you had could just like kind of get sucked out the window. You know, especially if you are dealing with a water sign, uh, especially if you're dealing with a cancer, which the moon is here twice. So you absolutely could be dealing with a cancer and cancers are very subject to the moon's phases. So, you know, they could be feeling brave today while we're pulling these energies and then they could chicken out. I just want to put that out there. But, you know, they are right now in a queen of wands type of energy feeling very brave. And this is a great new moon that's happening tonight at 11, 11. Actually, the new moon is happening at 11, 11 tonight. How freaking cool is that? And I'm mentioning it in this video, so it matters. You're probably going to be seeing some 11, 11 Scorpios if you're not already, okay? But, 
Yeah, this person right now is in this fire energy, so they are definitely feeling brave and thinking about coming forward and taking that leap of faith with you, okay? And like I said, this so this new moon is a really a good one. It's in Leo, so that fire energy, you know, if that's how they're feeling today, that fire energy will likely continue to build throughout the cycle of this 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 moon cycle, okay? So I'm pretty confident that they probably will come forward or you, like I said, it could be vice versa because your advice also is to take that leap, grow a pair. Okay. Get the courage to take the leap of faith with this person. Okay. And then your outcome. Yeah. An end to the confusion, the moon in reverse. Again, you could be dealing with a uh, cancer or a Pisces or a Scorpio because you got the king of cups here twice. Aries, like I said, and then there's some wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. I think this is your only pinnacle which would be Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I think we have everything here except for air. Like, we don't have any air energy here at all. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that. Well, I, I'm sure I have. Anyway, so yeah, your your outcome, a gift, uh, a solid, stable offer, an end to the confusion and fear. An illusion, disillusion, uh, illusionment, revelation. Some truths are going to be coming out, okay? That's awesome. Let's get another card and find out even more. And look, I open up the deck and there is that seven of swords again, okay? Somebody been, has been trying to run away from their feelings because the other side of the deck is the ace of wands, trying to run away from their passions too, trying to escape their passion, okay? So let's see, Scorpio, Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love for August 16th through August 31st, 2019, please. Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love energies for August 16th through August 31st, 2019. Please clarify these cards as they're laid out for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, Scorpio, here we go. Last round, let's see what we got. Clarifying the Emperor with the Three of Wands is how your love interest sees you. Oh my God, three times in this reading, Scorpio. The King of Cups, there you are. Three times you showed up in your own reading. That's cray. <laughs> okay, so they definitely see you as... Keeping them waiting on revealing your feelings. You've got the power, though. They see you as a very strong, strong energy who has all the power here. And you're keeping them waiting with this revelation of emotion on love. You're keeping them waiting in love. That's what I'm getting, okay? And then how they feel about you on top of the six of wands with the two of wands. <gasps> the four of wands. They want something stable with you. They feel that. This is a 11, 11. Hello. I just said it a little few minutes ago. Yeah, they want to be stable and together with you. A solid foundation with you in love. 11, 11. That's a soulmate twin flame card, okay? And then the significant past that's led up. <clears throat> yeah. So... Somebody was confused and afraid and emotionally unavailable and treating someone like an option or just confused in general. But there was, somebody may have had options. One or both of you could have had options, but this is the significant past. So somebody could have had options, was emotionally unavailable and confused and fearful. Okay, not revealing anything. Uh, but I feel like this person also was very, very confused, okay? And then 
the current energy between you and this person is the Four of Pentacles. That's clarifying the Five of Cups in reverse and the King of Cups. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles came out in reverse. Hopefully, I think that'll stay in reverse. It means he's finally going to open up. Hello, you somehow found the key to this King of Cups heart because it's finally going to open up and come forward. Okay, so the action that your love interest is most likely to take towards you or you them is the Six of Pentacles currently in reverse. We'll see. And then your advice. Oh, the Two of Cups currently in reverse. I don't think it's going to stay that way because your overall outcome. Hmm. We have that Ace of Pentacles, the Moon in reverse. Now we have the Five of Swords. I feel like that will be reversed. We'll ask Spirit. And then your overall energy is the two of pentacles. Okay, so that's transition, balance, choices, reprioritizing. Okay, let's see. Spirit, upright or reverse the two of pentacles, please. Mm, okay, and the king of cups, upright or reverse, please. The four of wands. The Seven of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. And the Five of Swords. Very good. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, yeah. A couple of uh, adjustments. Okay, so this Two of Pentacles is actually reversed. That I feel like that means somebody is dropping something. Okay, um, because this is like a balancing act, and it's an energy that cannot be sustained for very long anyway. Maybe this person was confused and emotionally unavailable because they felt like they had too much on their plate already and didn't really have time for love or something like that. But it looks like they're going to drop something and take... They're being advised, anyway, to drop something and take a leap of faith towards love. Okay, so they may be, you know, reassessing their their situation and trying to reprioritize uh, making that choice finally. Okay, how your love interest sees you, yeah, they see you as a strong character with all the power, okay, but keeping them waiting and on love, okay? They see you as the King of Cups. They, I think they know that you love them or that you have very strong feelings for them, but that you're not letting on to it, okay? Or you haven't in the past anyway, Scorpio. And then how they feel about you, um, yeah, I'm thinking they want you, all right? They definitely have noticed you. You have grabbed their attention, and they think you are super special, a superstar, 